Well, hello there. Welcome to Needlepoint TV. I'm Ellen Johnson. I'm your host, and I'm delighted to have you here with me today. So what we're going to talk about today is how to put a needlepoint canvas onto a stretcher bar frame. This is a stretcher bar frame. It's four pieces of wood that have been put together um, into a frame that you can attach your canvas to and it makes it nice and uh, a nice surface for you to be working on. So I showed how to put a needlepoint stretcher bar frame together in another episode and I'll be sure and link to that down in the description below. So if you didn't get to see that, you'll definitely want to watch it too. But what do you say we go ahead and dive in and watch me put a canvas onto a stretcher bar frame now? This is my canvas. It's an Abigail Cecile design, and I'm going to use this Core Jack tack kit to put it together with. This is actually the part that you use to take the tacks out with, so we'll put that to the side. We don't really need it right now. This is the gadget that you're going to use to attach the tacks to the canvas or put the tacks um, through the canvas onto the stretcher bar frame. So let's get ourselves a tack out of the box. And the neat thing about this is it has a little magnet in the end so that you don't have to hold the tack. It's gonna hold it there for you. All right, so let's center that over the frame. So that's the first step is to make sure that you have the, the canvas is centered over the frame itself. And let's see, let's get it. I think, quite frankly, it's going to be easier for me to pull this up closer to myself so that I can get some leverage on it because this can be a little, sometimes these bars can be a little hard to push into. So let me get the first one in place. All right, there we go. So there's our first tack in place. Now I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna put another tack down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna turn this around this way Get another tack and let's make sure it's still squared up. Make sure everything is still nice and straight. And now I'm gonna make sure that I pull on the canvas itself and I wanna have this taut because the purpose in having your canvas on a frame is to keep the surface of the canvas nice and tight so that when you go to stitch, um, everything is gonna lay nice and smoothly on the surface of the canvas. All right, let's push that down. All righty, now let me do, I'm gonna do one on this edge and one on this edge. And once I have those in place, then my canvas is really, um, it's pretty secure. All I have to do is make sure that I go back in and put the other tacks in the places that are gonna ensure that it stays nice and tight. Okay, so now again, I'm gonna pull on this to keep this nice and snug. And then I'm gonna put that tack in the middle on the side. So you can see I have two on the sides in the center and two on the bottom, one on the bottom and one on the top in the center. Get that so you can see it. So there's that one and here's this one. Now the, the next thing I'll do is put tacks on the corners. Now you can see that I have tacks on all four corners. Next, I'll come in and put a tack in between all of the tacks that are in place already. And I'll show you what that looks like. All right, and now you can see that I've put tacks in in more places, but I do want to show you um, this tack right here is a little bit out of line with the rest of them. So the easy way to get that out is to use this little gadget. And I'm just going to slide it under the tack and pry it loose. And then all I need to do is use my core jack, my little ball gadget here, and move that tack out just a little bit so that it's more lined up. That's just an aesthetic thing. It's not necessarily going to make it harder for you to stitch your project, but I kind of like for things to be neat and lined up. So now it's more in line. To continue, what I would do then is I would go ahead and place another tack in between each one of these that are already in place because you do want to have the surface nice and taut. And that is how you place a canvas onto a stretcher bar frame. So you may be wondering why exactly you'd even want to work on a frame. And that's a great question. My best suggestions, no. Oh. 
So you may be wondering after watching that video why you would even want to work on a stretcher bar frame and that's a really really good question. There are three main reasons that I find it better to work on a needlepoint frame. Uh, the first one being that when you have your canvas attached to a frame like this, it's not going to get pulled out of shape when you're doing your stitches. So if you're holding a canvas in hand, when you pull the stitches through the canvas, you can sometimes distort the canvas mesh because canvas is a loose weave or an open weave, actually an open weave fabric. And so those those threads can wiggle around. But if you have them attached, if you have the canvas attached to a frame like this, the chances of you being able to distort the canvas are much, much less. So that's going to mean that your finished piece is going to be less distorted when you're finished working on it. You know, sometimes I, when I had my shop, I had customers who stitched in hand, and that's what it's called when you hold your canvas in your hand and it's not attached to a frame. And they didn't necessarily realize that they were pulling as as tightly as they were but when you had a, a rectangle like this when you started many times I would get stitchers who would bring in their pieces that were finished um, and they ended up looking like a parallelogram because they were stretched out of shape so you know like I said you don't necessarily realize that you're pulling as tightly as you are and particularly if you're working in diagonal tent stitch or basket weave the the I guess the the common name for the diagonal tent stitch. Um, so what you want to do is to prevent that distortion of your canvas, you want to make sure that you do have your canvas on a frame that gives you that nice taut surface that prevents you from distorting the canvas mesh itself as you pull the threads through and, and work your stitches on the canvas. The second reason is because it's a lot easier to work on a canvas when your hands are free. So if you're doing decorative stitches, you know, you, it's really virtually impossible to do decorative stitches with two hands um, and, and be holding your canvas in your hand at the same time. So of course that's gonna necessitate that you use a, some type of a stand, whether that's a tabletop stand or a floor stand. And I'll make sure that I link in the description below to some videos about some needlepoint stands and, and um, some of my recommendations on some of my favorites. Um, and you'll wanna check those out as well. But having your needlepoint canvas on a frame and then attached to a stand does give you the freedom to be able to execute so, so many of those decorative stitches that you simply couldn't do if you were having to hold your canvas in your hand. And even if you had it on a, um, on a frame in your hand, it would be um, almost as impossible as it is if you're just holding the canvas in your hand. And finally, the last reason you would want to work on a stretcher bar frame, or again, any frame for that matter, is to um, give you more consistency in your tension across the surface of your canvas. If you have your, your canvas mounted on a frame of any type, um, what it enables you to do is maintain consistency in your tension. So um, in other words, if you're holding a canvas in your hand, the chances of you having a, a difference in tension just maybe even based on your mood that day. Um, so many times, you know, you're more relaxed when you sit down sometimes to stitch on a project than you are at other times. And even in the same stitching session, you'll notice a difference in your tension as you're working because as you stitch, you become more relaxed. So if you have your canvas mounted on a frame, um, you're not going to see those varying degrees of, of tension in your stitches as much as you would if you were just holding your canvas in hand. So um, it does help you maintain um, a more consistent tension on your project or on your stitches on your project. So those are the main three reasons that I um, advocate that you use a frame of any kind. And I'm particularly fond of stretcher bar frames, um, specifically for smaller projects. I like them because you can see the entire design. You don't, scroll frames, many times the reason you use a scroll frame um, is because you have a larger piece and you need to roll it up so that uh, you don't see the entire thing all at once because it's very difficult to get around to the back of it um, if you had it all on one big frame. So, you know, this is, I usually use stretcher bar frames for smaller projects and scroll frames for larger projects. So, but that's a whole nother conversation for another day. So, 
uh, thank you ever so much for being here with me today. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our episodes. And if you'd like to get notified anytime we um, upload or go live, make sure you click that little bell down below too. And if you are watching for the first time, be sure and say hello in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. Um, it's always fun for me to see who's here with me. And um, if you're returning too, please do make sure that you say hi and, and let me know that you're watching. Um, I am so happy to have you here with me. I appreciate you joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, happy stitching. Bye for now.